And good morning. It's 928. It's 72 degrees here in beautiful downtown Statesville. We're going to see probably 76 today. And, uh, Emily so gave me an Altoids just know, before right? we went on the air. I had to take mine out. You're funky fresh. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. It's it, a little bit too much for me. It makes no. your mouth water quite I'm a bit. I'm not a spicy kind of guy. Those things have a bite. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Too yeah. much of a bite. Clean out my sinuses. Speaking of bite, uh, there she is, Megan Super. Uh, welcome, hey. welcome, welcome. <laughs> From Mitchell University in the heart of downtown Statesville. Uh, close. Like close. Close. I think university and college are interchangeable. You just have That's because you don't work in a community college or <laughs> an academic setting. That's why you think oh, that. Oh, that's left. okay, fine. Well, I mean, you just, you've got professors, doctors. We well, do. We do have professors, yes. Yes, you do. And I don't know what qualifies to call somebody a professor, but there's, hey, we'll use it. There's lots of technicalities in bureaucracy. Uh, uh, like Professor uh, Carver and Professor Bullens. I just want to be Todd. That's all I ever want to be. <laughs> <laughs> we see now, it's Professor Bullens didn't, you know, hey, mind I've been, I've been called a lot of things. I bet you have. <laughs> <laughs> Some worse than that. Thank you for having us on today, Billy. We're Thank so happy Thank you for to being be here. here today. It is an exciting week for Mitchell. Because start of fall classes. Just looked at the pictures yes, on Facebook. We've got some wonderful pictures online. Um, we are so excited to have students back on campus with us. We had um, welcome tables set up yesterday to make sure everybody knew where they were going, had all the resources that they needed. And I was working the, the welcome table in Mooresville, and we had a student come by. They've been with us since last fall. And they yeah. said, This is the first time that I have taken a class on campus. Oh, really? And it's so wonderful. How cool is that? You know, that that's a great feeling to have people back. So we're so thankful for that. And like you said, I've got a couple guests with me today. Yes, you do. We've got Todd Carter. I'm looking Carter. at pictures on oh, Facebook. Sorry. He's, he's ignoring our guests. That's right. <laughs> um, we've got Todd Carver and David Bullens with our public safety programs. And they're going to tell us a little bit about all the wonderful things going on in their area. I know we've talked about it before. Yes, um, but it's worth talking about it's again. It's worth talking about again. If you were to ever get in an accident um, on the road yes. in Iredell County, yes, every person that you come in contact with from that initial person on the scene, even through to the hospital, through hospital discharge, they very possibly were trained at Mitchell Community College. Really? Yes, we have a How about that? fantastic public safety and... Um, health sciences program that train all those individuals that are essential to our community. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, I'm going to hand Really it everything from the time they answer the phone. Uh, oh, we, that, we do the that's telecommunicators. True. From the time they answer the phone. Yep, from the time they, even before they get there. So uh, we're really excited. Um, we started a new BLET class yesterday. Um, had 20 students uh, show up for that. And we're really excited, like Megan said, to uh, we never stopped doing face-to-face -face, uh, classes in BLET, but we're really excited uh, to see the rest of the campus coming to life, you know, and, and just, cool. just people being around. It's, it's a great feeling. Like she said, you can feel the energy when, when people are back. So I know we were uh, very excited to have the opening day yesterday. Um, BLET got started. We've got another class going down on down in Mooresville with uh, 13 students uh, who are in that class. They'll finish up around Labor Day. Mm -hmm. And so that puts us, so, you know, it's been a very busy year, very productive year for our, for our, specifically for our BLET program. Um, but that's just one of the, one of the pieces of the puzzle, right. you know, for the public safety program. Right. And remind us, for those that don't know, what is BLET? Yeah, okay. So uh, it's the basic law enforcement training program. It's the certification you need to uh, become a sworn police officer or deputy sheriff anywhere in the state of North Carolina. Uh, and you can you, you get that BLET training. Um, our program uh, lasts about a semester if you're going full time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about 760 hours of 765 hours of training uh, that the person's going to get. <clears throat> wow, I yep. didn't realize it was that much. And we'd like for it to be even more. You know, we, we'd go <laughs> we'd go on up 800. You know, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, we we've got it at the at the maximum level that we can have it. So, have you got any stats like you were just talking about? Uh, uh, how many of those students are Iredell County students or how many will, when they graduate, will stay in Iredell or try to, well, I guess it depends on where they can get their job. So, but yeah, and I, and I'm certainly, we don't discourage them, you know, from moving around, but what I can tell you, uh, Billy, is that, uh, 90% of them on, on graduation day, uh, when we have our graduation are, are right. employed by an agency. Really? 90% wow. on graduation day and then 95% 
by 90 days out. Wow. So uh, it's a real, I mean, it, it's an in-demand profession. Uh, Apparently. As, you know, our paramedic, our EMT programs, our fire right. programs, all of those are in, in high demand. So. And I'll just throw in there, Todd's done an exceptional job, too. Our last, what, three classes have had 100%. Pass rate, first time exam. First time Serious, exam. yes. So that's been that's, that's the work of the students. I'm really so proud of. So either a, you're easy with them, or b, you're just <laughs> getting them in there to work. Well, that was a state exam. Oh, that okay. David state was running. Oh, this yes, is not no. a, an exam that Todd's making up just to <laughs> yes. make up good stats. No, yeah. this is the statewide okay, um, certification yeah. exam. Wow. And that's you know that's the measuring stick they all you know, all across the state by. that everybody goes by. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm well, pretty that's excited cool then. about that. You know, they might look on the resume and they'll just say Mitchell College and you're just like, oh, no problem. Yeah. And and that's what we're trying to build is a reputation of, hey, this is a solid school. You know, yeah. this is a solid uh, program that we're running. You know, when, when like you the, send people to this program, you know, they've had more than the minimum. It's not like a you right. know, scrape in the bottom of the barrel kind of thing. This right. is a exceeding the standards at every at every point in the process. So. It's like Mitchell's nursing program. Same thing. It is. I mean, that's that's widely known. You know, oh, well, well, okay. So it was really exciting. That's what, like third or fourth in the state, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, consistently, it was... we're in the top five of the state. <clears throat> that's incredible. And then we have, from the public safety side of that, we have taken our, our paramedic program, mm -hmm. a bridge into the second year nursing students. So that has been... The nurses love us. We have, have all of our paramedics. They love them coming in as their second-year students, and we've had very good success rates of those passing as well becoming nurses. So. Talk to us a little bit more, David, about what that bridge program means. So we have our paramedics that uh, they'll go through a two-year they can either go through a two-year degree or they can get their certification. Mm -hmm. And then we have a kind of a bridging option for them, too, where they can take their English and math, those generated classes, and get their degree. So once they have that, then they bridge into the nursing program as the second year. There's a class they have to take during the spring mm -hmm. semester, and then that fall semester, they're just like any other nursing student. And we finished our first cohort this past year. Uh, all the ones who have taken the, is it NCLEX, I believe, exam, they all have passed. And we're on our second round of students now. So How about that? It's, it's exciting. Well, paramedic, we always talk about paramedic Ron. Uh, <laughs> we, we talk about him all the time. He, he's a big I saw Mitchell him over there grad. teaching, uh, he, I think, yesterday. It I was think. yesterday. Saw him over there, yeah, yeah, teaching the advanced class and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's very cool that, I mean, that's got to be. A feather in the cap of the of the school. Yeah, we're only we're only one of I believe four now uh, community colleges that offer the uh, paramedic to nursing bridge option. And he so says he was teaching CPR yesterday. Oh, oh thank you, paramedic Ron. That's right. Good morning. <laughs> uh, but these stepping stones are something that you can see in the health sciences and public safety programs and other programs at Mitchell. With this particular instance, individuals can start out with their EMT, EMT. training build on that and mm -hmm. use that coursework to get their paramedic certification mm -hmm. and then they can bridge over into an RN program and then from there they can go elsewhere get their BSN if they wanted to mm -hmm. they can continue on in the healthcare we, field. We do a lot of even like Megan's alluding to I mean from the very basic so we'll have a student they can take a an EMT class which is about a you know 300 hour class and they can do that from a continuing education standpoint. Mm -hmm. So if they're a member of a fire or, or a rescue agency, then it's, the fee is waived. So they're, they can take that class, EMT, and then they will take that uh, and implement that into their degree. So they'll get nine credit hours, which is $76 a credit hour. <laughs> so they'll get nine credits just for taking, for taking their EMT class. And we wow. do that for a lot. For Todd's program, BLET, we'll do the same thing. And for BLET, you get 20 semester hours of credit towards your uh, associate's degree. And so the associate's degree is 63, 64 hours. 64 hours. 64 hours. Um, and so that you're a third of the way there practically, uh, but just by taking that, that one semester of BLET. Mm -hmm. and and you know we talk about the affordability and the price and and making that option available for everybody out there um you can come to blet for five hundred dollars is the student fee wow. you know with the sponsorship it's only 500 bucks wow and i would challenge you to go anywhere in the state of north carolina and find a program where you can get 20 semester hours of credit for five hundred dollars it's, it's just not there it won't, it won't happen yeah. so do you do you encourage uh the folks that are in BLET or, or fire or public safety, whatever, to, to 
go ahead and ramp up and take the rest to get their yes, associates? Absolutely. We, we certainly encourage. I mean, that's that's what the uh, uh, all the agencies are asking for now. So we'll get them started <clears throat> on their certifications, get them jobs, which is what we really do in Con Ed Workforce Development. Is get the folks jobs, and then we work with them from there to get their degree to get them promoted within their professions. Yeah, um, yeah. I tell people that all the time that you know, in, during my career, you, know, you didn't necessarily have to have the degree, but in the in the in the future workforce that mm -hmm. you're preparing yourself for, you're going to have to have at least a two-year associate's degree, yeah. if not more. And and I always take this opportunity. My grandma always used to say, "An education is the is the one thing people can never take from you." And and you think about that <clears throat> as far as you know promotions and, and you know moving around and, and no matter where you go, your degree goes with you. Mm. And so I think that's something for young people to think about, and even people who are already in the career field, make that investment in yourself, and it will pay off for your agency. So sure, and, and make it in a way that is attainable for you with like the stepping stones that we have set up, the stackable credentials. You right. can you can work. And you can learn. You mm -hmm. can earn and you can learn. Right. And we do all that for all. I mean, we haven't mentioned the fire program, but we do the same thing there. We've got a basic fire training program to start in mid-September, and then we'll use those credits toward the degree. Uh, and from the fire service, which is kind of what I know, uh, we give a, <laughs> we, <laughs> just a little bit of experience. Little. We give a lot of credit. There's a lot of certifications that those folks can get throughout their career. So we'll have uh, many, many uh, agencies now are, are looking at, as Todd said, requiring education for promotion. So we're giving 16, 18 credit hours towards certifications that they've gotten over the over their careers, and most of them have gotten from Mitchell. So we we all still win. We we just we offer it in multiple formats. Whatever we meet the students where they are. Yeah. Well, you you have the we've heard uh, quite a bit about BLET, but the the fire program is semi new. Uh, we've, I mean, we've had the basic fire program. It's, it's just a different format. I mean, we, we, we do the, the academies such as we think for BLET, right. but we also offer the certification programs throughout the county. So we'll have one at, you know, I think we finished up South one at Ireland. South Iredale. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got um, up at North, I'm not sure which department, Harmony or Union Grove. One of those have started mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've, we just do it wherever the students are. We'll so what are they school. learning in, in basic firefighting? So in their basic training, they're going to, there's, there's about 22 different topics that they would get training in from how to use a fire extinguisher to, um, you know, using the hose lines on a uh, structure fire. Right. Just a, a whole gamut of things that they have to do. It's about Hazmat 500 hours. and all that other stuff. Hazmat is a component of that. Yeah. Uh, what resources to use to put out a fire mm -hmm. because you can't always use water. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I squirted water on that grease fire and it spread everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had, uh, we, do a, we do a lot of uh, specialty programs. Uh, we're, we're do, we just finished up a, a drone class with mm -hmm. uh, both most of those folks were either police or fire. Uh, we're doing um, uh, a hazmat technician class that will start in next month. So we just whatever the the agencies need in the area, we will offer it. As I, I joke and say, the answer is always yes. We'll figure out how we're going to do it later. So. <laughs> and, and he means that. We really do. Um, and and one thing that just while he was talking, I wanted to hit on is is the scheduling mm. variability. You know we. Uh, back to BLET, what I know, um, you know, we offer it traditional, certainly spring, summer, fall, you know, for our traditional students, Monday through Friday, some Saturdays, but then we also offer alternating classes. In the spring, we'll be offering one that, where you'll go four days one week and two days the next week for those students who have to work part time. Oh, okay. And are just never going to be able to quit work completely right. to go and, and find that career that they're wanting. And I know we do the same thing with EMT classes. We offer those at night. Yep. Uh, the, we've, we've done. We've offered a, the past few years. We've offered a summer class really designed for students that are at a university in their traditional setting. So mm -hmm. they'll come home in May. So our class starts late May, finishes up the last part of July, so they can get their certification to for another, you know, you know if they're wanting to go on to be a nurse practitioner or something, they're requiring them to have so many hours of clinical time so we're able to offer that in the yeah. summertime to so yeah. meet their needs. That's fantastic. So lots of options out there, you know, and, and if um – like David says, if, if the answer is yes, if you if you uh, are out there at your, you know, fire station and you're thinking, man, we've got enough people to you know throw together an EMT class here, or we got enough people to do a rescue tech class there, I mean, reach out to us and we'll find a way to make it happen if we can, we'll do you it. know, if there's any way possible. So that's great to know that uh, 
that uh, you know most of the time you'd think of the uh, volunteer fire department out in the country you know it's like boys will squirt this fire out <laughs> but there's knowledge these guys have uh, basic knowledge of of uh, there's a lot of training a fire and, and, right. and what and now i don't know about the county but in, you know in the city uh if it's a wreck or a heart attack or whatever the fire truck goes mm-hmm. first yeah. right these right. individuals have to be cross-trained yeah yeah in in all aspects because um david jokes that the fire is always the first on scene yeah <laughs> we do it all and, 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 some, right. and sometimes sometimes they are yeah. everybody Very knows good. a fireman uh, but they need to know how to perform some of the basic life-saving procedures like the um, emts and paramedics do as well as our um, police force and sheriff's mm-hmm. department they have to have those resources and that knowledge and that right. skill set so that if they are first on the scene they can start cpr They're teach, not waiting. Uh, teach how to deliver a baby we do. Absolutely. We, do. we have a mannequin that will deliver the baby. Exactly. <laughs> really? We, our our yep. health science uh, building is phenomenal. If you ever get a chance. All the to new one uh, over on the, uh, off of uh, The old one was phenomenal. End. The new yeah. one is super phenomenal. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very yes. much. <laughs> yes. So is that where your classes are in, in those buildings, in that building? We actually do both. We have class. Well, actually, Todd does his BLAT class in the first floor of the health science building. Okay. Uh, and then we do our EMT and paramedic training there. But Todd also has a class in Mooresville mm-hmm. uh, that for BLET, and then we do our fire uh, classes at their Connect campus on Front Street. So we're, we're kind of spread out. Well, and and I think that's the name of the game too in the community college business is to is to go where the the students are, yeah. go, take it to where the customers are, uh, and you know, taking the BLET program to the Mooresville campus has been a real big uh, hit for us. We've I done bet. it uh, two years in a row now, and uh, really really happy with the. You know, with the class sizes down there and uh, turning out good products down there as well. So. Excellent, yep. excellent. All right. Well, you told me to let you know when it's getting it's getting close. <laughs> let me uh, throw in one thing because we do have uh, just a few minutes before she goes. Let me yes. talk about paralegal. This is new. Paralegal. Well, this is part of public safety, so this is kind of really? reaching out from uh, our criminal justice program. So we started a uh, uh, paralegal degree this fall moderate interest but we've had phenomenal interest on our con ed paralegal class so that's for students who ha- already have a degree of some sort either a, a associate or a bachelor's or, or higher so they can take our paralegal con ed class it's about 300 hours uh, and we have just uh, finished our first rounds of folks taking north carolina bar fed everyone who's called us have said they passed the exam and that's a, a state <laughs> exam as well uh, so we're really excited about that. We have another class starting tonight. Just enrolled a student today for that class. So if anybody is listening and has some interest, email us, call us today. We'll get you in that class. And these are jobs, uh, career fields that we can prepare you for where there are There's always going to be a lawyer. Of we, we had just last week, I had two attorneys call asking for our list of graduates uh, looking to hire. I um, bet. Most of the, the class from the last one, last group that wanted a job in a paralegal field are they're employed. How about so, that? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, April McIntyre, who used to work with me over at the other one. April was, she's the morning news girl and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. And she was 45, I'm not going to say how old. <laughs> and uh, she just, she went to school to get her paralegal and yep. is making like a hundred times more than what she was making in radio. <laughs> good paying jobs. Uh, it really is. careers. So, yeah, so yeah, that's, been, that's been good to see. So how do we find out more about BLET or public safety or any of these courses? Well, a couple of, couple of different ways. Obviously, you can uh, check out the Mitchell Community College website, mitchellcc.edu. Um, you can go there, uh, click on the uh, degrees and programs, public safety technologies, and that will take you down to any number of the BLET, the BFT, the BLET. All that stuff is located right there. Um, uh, it's okay. okay. I guess I'll give out my email address. Sure. R. Carver uh, <laughs> at MitchellCC.edu. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're easy to find. Office over on West Front Street or down you in You want to give your cell number, too? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I don't hey, mind. Our, our cell numbers are on our email address. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 24 hours a day. Give I'll Megan's answer it. Number. Todd will answer until 9 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I only answer until 9. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time, yeah, of that's course. Right. <laughs> that's right. But we're, we really are. Uh, we got skin in the game. I mean, we David and I, you know, you know this is our community, and we that's have right. a vested interest. You know, I retired from the law enforcement. David retired from the fire service. And we want to backfill both of those career fields with good, competent uh, people to go out there and protect our community. Yeah. That's a good thing. I like that. All right. Thank you, men. Thank you. Good to see you again. Thank you, and Megan. Thank you, Ms. Super.
Oh, thank you. So always glad to see you. I mean, never bring that Hogan guy back again. <laughs> He's probably listening from. Oh, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. All right, now.